So I've been trying to learn about mindfulness. And most videos that I watch talk about cultivating this sense of compassion and kindness to yourself as you're practicing mindfulness. Because, you know, you can practice mindfulness in many different ways. You can be aware of your thoughts, um, but then how does the awareness talk to your thoughts? Um, are you judgmental on how many times your mind has wandered? Or are you, you know, kind? And understanding that your brain is going to wander, and that is just natural. Um, so, I had to, from the start of my healing journey, allow myself to express my emotions, because that was something that I struggled with growing up. I was always told not to cry, that everything was okay, that my feelings weren't, you know, there were people who had it worse than me. And that doesn't mean that's not true. There are people who are struggling, but that doesn't mean my struggles were invalid. So if, if you're starting your healing journey and you were never allowed to express your emotions and you have all of this suppressed feelings. Um, I believe that emotions are just energy emotion in your body. That's why they're called emotions. Um, so in order to release a lot of that, you have to first allow yourself to begin expressing them. And the farther you go into your mindfulness journey, you'll learn how to quickly regulate your emotions. Um, and it, you have to do your own self-education. Um, so some ways for me that I learned how to regulate my emotions were when I first started, I would put one hand on my chest and one hand on my stomach and tell myself that I was safe because even though I knew in my mind that I was safe, my body was telling me an entirely different story. Um, so doing those things um, really helped me learn how to regulate my emotions. But it is a practice and it's not just something that you can do one time and just for the rest of life be joyous and happy and everything is wonderful. Um, there will always be new challenges to overcome and new uh, situations that will allow your egoic mind to want to criticize and shame or judge or guilt. So I believe mindfulness is the practice of recognizing when that egoic mind is trying to um, say that you're not enough and remember that you are always worthy and whole and everything is exactly as it's supposed to be. You are not in the wrong place. You're not in a, the wrong time. It's <laughs> there is no one path. There is no you're supposed to be married by 23 and supposed to have your first kid by 24. There's no timeline that is meant for everyone. Um, so, I don't know. I think you're doing great. And I really hope you give yourself some love today.